Hey, how's it going, art nerds? And welcome back to this place of torture that I call the Diddy Mark channel. Now, now, let's not waste time. You know what it is. I know you read the title, and I'm not even gonna cap. This video is sponsored by Coloso, and the course that I will talk about in this video was provided to me by them for free. But before you click off this video because you hear it's sponsored and you don't like sponsored reviews, I would like to assure you that everything I talk about and every point that I make is completely and genuinely honest and has not been swayed by those fat Benjamins that I may or may not have been paid. <laughs> So listen y'all, yes this is a course review of a course provided to me by Coloso, but if you read the title, that's an indication that I could have just taken the course and did a course review and tell you my thoughts plain and simple and yada yada yada, but instead I'm going to use this as an opportunity to bring up and answer a question I've been meaning to ask and answer on this channel for a while and it's do our courses actually work? Yes, that's the question that I will find a roundabout way to answer throughout the course of this video. You know, I could simply just tell you the answer, but where's the fun in that? You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, just so we're clear, what will I, Diddy Mr. Studio Guard Mark, do on this video here today? Well, I'm gonna be honestly reviewing a course provided to me by Coloso called Looks Anime Style Background Design. And then whilst reviewing it, not only will you all watch me draw a background illustration using what I learned from this course in the background of this video, but I'ma also be using everything and my experience from taking this course to then answer the questions of do our courses actually work so yeah with that said let's have this intro like my temper and keep it short <laughs> let's get right into this So yeah, really quick, what is Coloso? Coloso is a great educational site for artists that provides a large library of high quality courses for multiple types of illustrations. They even have courses from a lot of artists that some of you and even I am already aware of and admire from social media like Rhino Tuna. And there you go. So in a nutshell, that's Coloso. I already was aware of them and their services, but when they reached out to me to sponsor a video of mine, I jumped on it because I want to talk about what I'm going to be talking about today. And yeah, they offered me a list of courses to review slash talk about, and I chose the one titled Looks Anime style background design why did i choose this course well for two reasons one this course is for beginners and so i personally know my audience and the amount of times i've been asked in the comment sections to make a tutorial for backgrounds thought it'd be perfect to review because although this video is not a background story video itself it would point some of you who've been asking me to make a tutorial for backgrounds in the right direction of a good source to learn from if this does in fact turn into be a good course also seeing as this is a course for beginners and i am not a beginner myself when it comes to art i believe i'm more than capable to assess the course's competency in what it teaches and how it teaches it and these results of my assessment will then play into me answering the question of do our courses really work fyi the reason i asked this question is because if you watch my channel you know i've talked a lot about how i've personally never found art tutorial videos myself to be helpful and a lot of you have agreed with me saying you feel the same way in the comment section so once and for all i want to watch a course and see for myself just how good or helpful a course can be so yeah, looks anime style background design. It's a course for beginners, as I said at the beginning, and it's very clear from watching it. And I mean that in a good way. I like how look the instructor sets up what to expect for this course. It's a course for beginners. So I like that he makes it clear the point of the course is to focus more on the concepts of perspective and composition. The instructor look even gives a good list of materials and reference sources you'll need or might find helpful. For example, look is an avid fan of the Makoto Shinkai art books for backgrounds and strongly recommends them. I think the fact that the course makes a list of references that would help and be good is a really nice touch. What I also think is a nice touch is that you can change the speed of the course. I don't know if that was worth mentioning, but I'm gonna mention it anyways. See, if you were a science student like I was, you get used to watching video lectures at two times speed. So yeah, sue me. The fact that I can change the speed is greatly appreciated. Anyways, this course was broken down into three sections and within each section, there were sub points that were then broken down into meticulous detail. Again, I commend how beginner friendly this course was. For example, when he talks about the concept of perspective, he breaks it down into such a way that anybody would have at least a decent grasp of the concept by the time they finish watching the course. He even goes over the types of perspectives, how to practice them. He even goes over things that you should do and things that you actually shouldn't as well. He teaches you concepts and lingo like big to small, focal points, foreground, middle ground, background. And again, he repeatedly, repeatedly encourages students to look at references. You know, one thing about this course is the instructor focuses very, very much on the concepts and not even the actual drawing of the background itself and definitely not the coloring or rendering of it. And I say that not as a drawback of the course, but as a plus. 
because this course definitely knows its identity. It's for beginners. And the reality that a lot of art students don't want to hear is when it comes to learning something like backgrounds, especially if you want to do it well, you need a strong or good enough grasp of those concepts instead of just jumping cranium first into just trying to do Makoto Shinkai level backgrounds out the gate, you know what I mean? But still, I would have loved to see the instructor use everything he told us about up until this point, you know, the end of the course, to create a full illustration. You only ever did rough work to show off the bones of what would be a great illustration, you know, if someone actually took the time on it, and he definitely did this because of the nature of the class, you know, being for beginners. He wouldn't want to set an expectation in their heads that they should be outputting work at such a high level at the end of this course, even though that's not the case. But still, I would have loved to see finished work. Another con of this course is that the player for the course was really slow and laggy, and it made it annoying to pause and skip around and fast forward and stuff. And the last con for this course was there was no PSDs or files of any of the stuff or diagrams that the instructor was drawing during the course. Like I wish there were at least PDFs of a lot of the diagrams and drawings the instructor was drawing and using to explain and teach. I think if those were available, things would be a little easier on the student because without it, they would have to take a lot of notes because you know they would obviously need to come back to a lot of the content so as to deepen the knowledge but the fact that there's no psds or files or pdfs isn't that big of a deal though i understand the logic of making the students do their own note taking so to conclude my review of looks anime style background design i did ask give it like a strong 9 out of 10 and i'm serious that's an honest review i think if you're a beginner and you have not the slightest clue about drawing backgrounds like I'm talking you've never even heard of any of the art concepts or even the word perspective, not to even talk about spelling it, but you're interested, this course is perfect. You know, it's hours long content of someone explaining composition, perspective, and layout in intense detail and in a way that's easy to understand. You know, that's, that's perfect for beginners. And I think overall, it's a course that's actually well worth your money if you are a beginner and you really wanna learn backgrounds. If you're interested in this course, you can find a link to it in the description down below, as well as a discount code that Loso has so graciously provided to my viewers so check that all out down below if you're interested and again thank you to Coloso for sponsoring this video so yeah with the course review out of the way it brings me back to my question do art courses actually work well yes yes they do but it depends on two things number one how competent the instructor is as a teacher and two what level artistically you personally are at. I think that second point of what level artistically you're at is what makes art tutorials and courses seem like they don't work for a lot of people. A lot of artists get ahead of themselves and try to jump right into things that they aren't ready for. Like I see no logic when an artist wants to draw anatomically correct humans but refuses to learn fundamental concepts like form and perspective to an extent. So yes, if you want to watch or take an art course, be honest and aware of the level you are at artistically, whether you're a beginner, intermediate or expert and take the courses that best suit to your needs. FYI, you can be a beginner at one thing and intermediate or expert in another. For example, I'd say like last month, I was a beginner when it came to background drawings and intermediate when it came to human anatomy. But as a result of my own studying and honestly, what I learned from this course that I just took for this video, I would consider myself intermediate at backgrounds now. I mean, looking at this background illustration I just did using what I learned from this course, wouldn't you agree? Thank you all for watching this video. I truly appreciate it if you made it all the way to the end. You are a real one if you did. <laughs> but yeah, shout out to my patrons because they helped me put my cat through grad school. And yeah, if you want to join the Patreon yourself and join the Art Nerd Gang, the link is in the description down below. Anyways, make sure to like the video to let me know you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel because that gives me a reason to live. And lastly, don't forget to leave a comment because I read all and respond to most comments. Till next time, Art Nerds. It has been I, Didi Makoto Shinkai Mark. Peace and love, baby.